Well, hello there, my crafty little pumpkins. To start off this grizzly DIY, you're going to need a head. Whether this be a mannequin head, a styrofoam head, or even your own, but that might be a little bit uncomfortable for the duration of this DIY. Perhaps a face cast? Instead, maybe? Um, you'll also need liquid latex, a disposable sponge, or a brush you don't care about, and I'm just going to be coating my mannequin in liquid latex a handful of times, being sure to dry between each layer. If you need to speed up the drying process, you can totally use a hairdryer that's really going to help you out. You can also put Vaseline on it as well if you'd like, but it's honestly pretty easy to remove when needed anyways. I think I put around seven regular layers on, and then I mixed in a little bit of foundation in with another batch of liquid latex, which created... Pretty nice color, but I found a change the consistency of the liquid latex, which actually helped me out a little bit with making the project look even more gruesome than I originally anticipated. But since it was still not the opacity that I wanted, nor the same color all the way around, I mixed up my own little custom color using acrylic paints. If you choose to do this and you want to recreate my color, I used a mix of orange, pink, and white. No particular measurements, just eyeballed it, and then to make things even harder on me, like I usually do. Um, I poured this concoction into a separate container and then added more liquid latex to that concoction. <laughs> I mixed it together with the back of my paintbrush and then and then applied one to two layers of that and left it to dry. You can let it dry between these layers, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter as much as the other layers. Then we're back to the frame. Take everything else so you only have the frame left to work on and pick a threading of your choice. Thicker threading or faux suede cord looks better in my opinion than anything else and a thick needle or possibly a nail and translucent powder and a brush. You could also use powder with pigment but just know that it will change the color you actually have on your fake flesh. I'm just brushing a generous amount over the entire face and then finding a corner that's fit for doing some really terrible looking peel pour. Powdering as you go so the latex does not stick to itself. Then once I've got that entire face off, that sounded weird. I'm going in with some scissors and detailing a bit. Basically just making the edges around the eyes and the mouth more blunt instead of just like fading off into a color that doesn't really exist. Using my faux suede, I am mapping out and slightly measuring how long I'm going to need to cut each piece to give it the look that I want it to have. You can cut as many of these as you'd like. In total, I think I used eight and I made a hole with the needle stretched out a bit, but don't pull too hard. I made that mistake already. Latex is stretchy, but it's not very terrible. Um, easy to tear? Whatever. Words. Then I made more holes and repeated with the faux suede cord. everything over and started hot gluing all of the core pieces into place. I used the scissors to help me with the placement because hot glue is, well, you guessed it, hot. And I'm really tired of burning myself every time I make something. I used a generous amount of hot glue under each cord as well to secure it even better. You can leave it like this or you can go that extra little creepy mile and add some blood to it. I used red and brown paints for this and I mixed them together to make it a darker color as if it actually had time to oxidize. And I stippled that on with a stippling sponge around the faux suede cord area. Basically where the faux suede cord is actually going through the kind of skin that we have and you are done. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!